Hi guys, this is Loi with you from aeschoolonline.com. It's about time I say this, I used to like it a lot. Now in the previous lectures or in the beginning you learned how to create a composition from a single footage and also you learned how to create a blank composition to start your motion graphics or you know to add videos later. Here we are going to start seeing the other options of creating a new composition from multiple footage. So now let's imagine that you want to create a composition that includes all the videos plus an image. How do you do that? You can go step by step manually and it's going to give you a lot of headaches. In all versions of uh, After Effects CC, that is from version 12, you can do this method. Now, the way you select your footage to create a single composition is very important. It is the way they will be if you want sequenced on your timeline. So let's start by something obvious. We select the image, which has a not size here. You have six pixels more. Then let's select the beach. So I press Control or Command on the Mac. Click on beach. I selected it. Then let's select lake, then city, then forest. So image, beach, lake, city, forest. Cool. Now to create a single composition from all these footage, the best way is to right click and say new composition from selection. Cool. Let's take this choice and the new composition from selection panel is opened. First of all, create. What do you want to create? A single composition or multiple compositions? If you select multiple compositions, then you will have here five compositions that will be created. Not exactly what you want. You want a single composition for all the footage. Fine. Now, the options here. Dimensions from. Of course, you're not going to take the dimension from an image. You will want to take it from a video, of course, because an image is still and the video has frames per second and the dimension is better. So, in our case here, they are all identical. We can choose any one of them. I will choose, for example, Aerial View Forest. Cool. Then the still duration. Notice that we have an image here. This is a still. You can decide like on your timeline here and how long it's going to be in your video for five seconds. You can reduce this, let's say three seconds only as an intro. And then add to render queue, we'll see later. You have here a very nice option is sequence layers. Sequence layers meaning putting them one after the other according to how you have selected them. You can overlap them, so there will be an overlap between the out and the in of the layers of one second. Pretty interesting. You can make it two seconds. You can do what you want. One second is fine. If you want to change it, you can just come and edit it and put two, for example. I'll leave it to one. Now, you can immediately create transitions, which is very interesting here. If you click, you can say transitions off. No transition at all. They will come, you know, just overlapping. Or you can say dissolve the front layer or the top layer if you like. Or you can do cross dissolve front and back layers. Let's go for the whole lot. Let's go front and back layers and see exactly what will happen. I will click OK. And here you are. In a second, a composition is created. You can see here Aerial View Forest. And the name has been taken from the video we have selected to take the dimensions from. And then... It is open now in your timeline and you can preview it in the preview. If you come over here and scrub through, you will notice now you're ready to work and start adding, for example, lower thirds. Let's press the space bar and preview a bit. Notice the dissolve. Pretty nice. Let's go faster. Press space bar. Very nice dissolve. Of course, you can take your time to play it. Now, notice what's happening in the timeline. First of all, all the layers are listed in the same sequence you have selected them. That's pretty important. Then, the total time of the composition is the total time of the videos and the image, 5 seconds, minus, of course, the overlaps here. So, we have 4 overlaps. That will be 8 seconds. So, now, you are ready to start working and uh, create your lower thirds, add some effects, do whatever you like. You created your composition. Now, this is very useful, and I would like you to get used to this kind of composition creation. Now, notice also in the timeline, you have now two compositions. 
that you can preview and work on if you want to switch all you have to do is to click on the name over here now you are in the first composition that is view city and then you can click on the other one and you switch to view forest cool guys so now you have learned how to create a composition from multiple footage in any version of after effects starting from the version 12.